Hey, this is Matt from Investquant. Today is Thursday, January 28th, 2021. And this morning, we saw some sizable up gaps following yesterday's weakness. We had a lot of weakness in the markets yesterday, closed down at the lows this morning. We gapped up about to the midpoint of yesterday's range. Yesterday's range in the S&P was about 100 points, so a really large range, which means that gap this morning was quite sizable when we gapped up uh, to the middle of yesterday's range, seeing that we closed right near the lows. Uh, we had that sizable up gap. Since then, we have pushed to the upside in all of the instruments, with the exception of the Russell, which has kind of uh, formed a little double bottom there at yesterday's closing price. Russell's that top right chart, you can see. Uh, but the S&P up here in the top left has had a gap and go type of day. It is running to the upside following this weakness uh, pattern from yesterday. So what I want to do this afternoon is head over to Discover and take a look at the same pattern that we looked at this morning uh, which was based upon the week close yesterday. You know, it was favoring uh, an upside with bigger moves to the upside and uh, more frequent moves to the upside. I want to take that same pattern and update it as we approach the close, knowing that we kind of have a trend day forming following that pattern and see what has happened as we get towards the end of the session. So let me go ahead and set up the same pattern that we had this morning and then add the context around what has happened since then and we'll see what the results show. So let me move this out to a 3 p.m. entry set up as a long looking at all four instruments. The pattern from this morning that we looked at was based upon opening within the prior day range following a 10 day low close, which is in the price pattern section. So if I come in here, I go to the new low section. Yesterday was a 10 day low close and it also closed in the bottom 25% of its daily range that is found in the location of last open and close section. And then it was also put in a similar market environment uh, where it is above a 200 day simple moving average. Since it was a 10 day low close, that means by definition it's below a 10 day moving average. So I don't need that. So this completes the pattern that we looked at this morning that was favoring the upside from the open until the close. But what I want to do is add this after this afternoon's uh, price action that we have seen to this pattern to see what happens in just that last portion of the day. So if I go into the post open filters, I can describe uh, the trendy like activity. I'm just going to do it very simply saying that the open is in the bottom 25% of the range and the 3 p.m. price is in the top 25% of the range. So that makes a pretty directional looking candlestick that is forming. We certainly have that taking place now on the daily candlestick. Uh, that completes the pattern. Let's go ahead and take a look at the results. And here we go. These are the results of going long at 3 p.m., exiting at the close, which is 4.15 p.m. Eastern time, when you have trendy like price action developing following a 10 day low close that closed in the bottom 25% of its range and the open was within that prior day range. Historically, we've got 36 samples of this pattern taking place in the S&P, 30 in the NASDAQ, 31 in the Dow, and 22 in the Russell. If we take a look at the win rates on them, you'll see they are pretty messy. Not really seeing any sort of uh, bias uh, that these are agreeing upon across the four instruments. You can see the S&P pretty neutral there, 47%. The NASDAQ just a bit better than 55%. The Dow coming in the weakest, 35%, and then the Russell, very similar to the S&P, uh, just there around 45%. So they're pretty mixed on the win rates. None of them uh, are really strong. The Dow is a little bit weak there at 35%, so that's uh, weaker than the others. But if you kind of average them out, they're all fairly neutral as a group. Uh, average win, average loss, pretty similar in size there for the S&P. NASDAQ, a little bit larger average loss. Uh, the Dow, a little bit at larger average win, and Russell, similar to the ES, in that uh, they are pretty similar in size for average win and average loss. But overall, this pattern, very messy, not seeing a bias in either direction. So uh, perhaps that means this pattern has done the majority of its work to the upside uh, once it gets close to 3 p.m. And uh, the bias from that point forward starts to become a bit more random than what it was off the open. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck the rest of the day, and we will see you tomorrow.